Hello there. This is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to look at direct object and indirect object. So let's get started. Let's start with direct object. So it is a noun or a pronoun. It follows an action verb, and it receives the action of a verb in a sentence. A direct object. Can be found by asking who or what about an action verb. So let's look at some examples. The message reached the lawyer. The message is your subject. Reached is your action verb. The message reached who? The lawyer. That's your direct object. A direct object can be found by asking who or what about an action verb. Another example: His landlord is raising the rent. His landlord is the subject. The action verb is raising. His landlord is raising what? The rent. So that's your direct object. Again, a direct obje object can be found by asking who or what about an action verb. Next example: Marty and Carol served pie and ice cream for dessert. So we have Marty and Carol as the subject. That means is a compound subject because there are two people. Then we have a verb served. So we can ask Marty and Carol served what? Pie and ice cream. Direct object. So. A direct object is never an adverb or the object of a preposition, just like these examples. Joanne walked what? Her dog. That's your direct object. So, Joanne walked briskly. That that is a is an adverb. So that's right. So briskly is an adverb, and Joanne walked to the store. That is. A prepositional phrase. So let's do this exercise. Identify the direct object. Highlight or underline the direct object. Pause the video, and then we'll look at the key. This is your key. They gave Harold what? A new car. Miss Jones offered the girls what? A cake. My grandma always wishes me good luck. Luck is your direct object. I bought what? It for my sister. I'll get what? Them for you as soon as I can. He brought what? A bottle of wine to the party. Sean liked what? My lesson on direct object. Great. So now that we have the direct object, let's look at the indirect object. That's right. So it is a pronoun or a noun. Tells to who or to what or for who or for what the action of the verb is done. In the Brought a flower. Okay, so we know that flower is direct object. But if I said Andy brought me a flower, then me is your indirect object. It would be the same as saying Andy brought a flower to me. So to me would be your indirect object, and the flower, of course, direct object. Another example: Sarah showed the class her new glasses. So the class is your indirect object. Glasses would be your direct object. So you would ask: Sarah showed her new glasses to who? To the class. The same with a second example: Jeff gave Caroline a chess set. Jeff gave. A chess set to who? To Caroline. That's your indirect 
object. Now, if the verbs read and write are only followed by the indirect object, a preposition must be used, just like these examples. Please read to me. You can even say read me the letter. So, indirect object is me, direct object the letter. Or read the letter to me. And you can see there to me is your indirect object. The letter is your direct object. Another example. She must write to her parents next weekend. She must write her parents an email, for example. So her parents is always indirect object. Direct object is email. Or you can even say she must write an email to her parents. To right there is to her parents is your indirect object. Please note, and here we have an important note. If there is an indirect object, there must be a direct object. However, however, and this is important here, you can have a direct object without an indirect object, just like the examples we already saw. Now, another important fact. Only action verbs have indirect objects and direct objects. Only action verbs. Linking verbs do not have indirect objects or direct objects. Linking verbs are those like be, look, taste, smell, stand, turn, etc. One example is of a linking verb would be Zachary is a silly boy. Here, the verb to be is a linking verb, is always a linking verb, sometimes cannot be a linking verb, but that's another story. But in this case, is a linking verb. An action verb, with an action verb, the same sentence, we can say, Zachary saw a silly boy. So, the direct object here is boy. He saw what or who? A silly boy, right? Direct object. So, another important fact uh, about English grammar is that we have transitive and intransitive verbs. A transitive verb is an action verb with a direct object. Just like we saw, for example, saw, to see, right? Is an action verb and is a transitive verb, also called, because they, they take objects. An intransitive verb, instead, is an action verb with no direct object or a linking verb. Linking verbs are always intransitive verbs. That's the difference between transitive verb and intransitive verb. We'll have a lesson on this point of grammar. So let's do some exercise now. Identify the indirect object in the following sentences. So highlight or underline Pause the video and then I'll show you the key. Okay, so this is your key. They gave Harold, indirect object, a new car. Miss Jones offered the girls, so the girls would be your indirect object. My grandma always wishes me, indirect object. I bought it. For my sister, for my sister is your indirect object. I'll get them for you. That will be your indirect object. Number six, he brought them. Okay, your them is your indirect object. And then we have a, a direct object, a bottle of wine, like we did uh, before uh, for the party. Now, number seven, Sean liked my lesson on direct object. So, liked what? My lesson. So, that's your direct object. So, here we don't have a, an indirect object. Do you know why? 
Well, I hope you know. So you can tell your, your teacher. If you don't, just write it under this video. I would like to know your answer for this number seven. Why don't we have an indirect object in this sentence? If you know the answer, post it under this video. Well, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you liked the lesson, please hit on the like button and you may share the video with your friends. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.